most of my life, we didn't talk about babies that were lost through pre um, stillbirth or through um, 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 miscarriage. Um, when my aunt and uncle lost a, a, a son at um, full term, they didn't name the baby, they didn't have a funeral, and we comforted them at the time, but that was it. Then we didn't really talk about it. Um, it was just something that was uncomfortable. Um, you could walk around the cemeteries and you would see um, headstones and they would say Baby Larson, Baby Sorensen, Infant Nelson. Um, there would be no names. And most of the time when you would ask people how many children they had, children that were lost through um, stillbirths or f miscarriages were never talked about. So when my son and his wife lost um, two daughters, um, one through a stillbirth and, and one through um, a child, um, the fact that things are different now and now they talk about these babies and these babies were both named. Um, this was a, a different experience for me, and I had to make a total adjustment um, about this. Um, and I think this is a wonderful, good thing. Um, it's been a blessing, a huge blessing for me, and I thank God for that all the time. Um, Kenna and Sienna are my two granddaughters and I look forward to seeing them in heaven and they're part of our family. I have nine grandchildren um, alive and two granddaughters in heaven. Thank you. If I can ask, why do you think back in your generation people didn't talk about it? I think because it was so uncomfortable and I think because back then um, people didn't talk about their emotions as much as they do now. I have, I'm the oldest of, of 20 some grandchildren and I do talk to my aunts um, especially now and um, we talk about that now. Why didn't we talk about that? And they're pretty frank about it. Um, it was just that people were so uncomfortable with their emotions. It was hard to share that back then. You were opening yourself up and people just weren't used to that. When my grandmother, who was only um, um, 15 when she gave birth to my mother, who was the oldest of the children, um, had her, it would have been her fourth, fifth, fifth or sixth child, I have to remember which one, she lost that child. It was, um, it was her fifth child. It was a boy after four girls. And it was the first child that she was really ready for. And they had gotten a, a um, bunch of clothes ready. They were very poor people. And that child was, that baby boy was born with no back of his head. And so it was devastating. And um, it was so hard. But after that happened, um, our family did not have baby showers for babies until after babies were born um, because of that happening. It changed a tradition for our whole family that still remains true to this day because of what happened back then. Um, and I never knew that that's why we didn't have baby showers until after babies were born. We never talked about the fact that that's why it changed until just the last couple years. Um, that's how ingrained not talking about those kind of things was in our family. So it's only been recently that we've talked about these kind of things. I think the emotions are so hard to talk about 